Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome to Women of War, Mornings with God. The scripture for today is found in Colossians chapter 2, verse 10. And this is what it says. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and powers. Wow. <laughs> we are complete in him. That means we are complete in Jesus. Everything that Jesus had, because Jesus is complete in God, amen? So we are complete in Jesus, who's complete in God, which means that we have everything that we need, amen? We are complete in him. Hi, babe. <laughs> we are complete in him. We are complete in Jesus. We are full in Jesus, and he is the head of all principality and powers. So if we are complete in him and he is complete in God, then that means we are complete and we are also the head of the principalities and powers. Amen? Hi, Sister Cynthia. That means we have all the authority, all the power over Satan and his demon cohorts. Amen? Amen. So, I want to encourage you today with this little golden nugget. Just remember, we are complete in Christ. Complete means we're done. We're finished. We are complete. We have everything we need in Christ Jesus, who is in God. So, Jesus has everything that God has, and we have everything Jesus has. So, we have it all. Amen? We have it all. We have it all, and we are the head as well in Christ of all principalities and powers. Amen? So keep that today. Know that you are complete in Christ Jesus. Therefore, you have authority over all the powers of the enemy. Amen? Amen. So that was my little golden nugget today. Good morning, Jean. I've been praying for you. Pray for all of you, but you know. <laughs> um. So that was my golden nugget. Know that we have authority. We are in Christ. We have authority over all the power of the enemy. And I also never want to close without giving an opportunity. <clears throat> if anybody jumps on later and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then I encourage you in so much pain. Okay, Jean. You know what? We will pray for you here as well um, on this live. And um, one of my intercessors on my team is on sister Cynthia and my husband's on as well so we will lift you up in prayer here on this live as well as continue to pray for you amen before we do that um, if you don't know Jesus repeat this prayer after me father I come to you in the name of Jesus I ask that you forgive me of all my sins I believe with my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord and Savior of my life. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. So now the Bible tells us that if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe God raised him from the dead, then we shall be saved. And we are new creatures in Christ Jesus. All old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. So if you said that prayer, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. I encourage you to get hooked up with a spirit-filled, Bible-believing church that preaches the uncompromised Word of God. If you don't know how to find one, you can message me here, or you can email me at 
women of war intercessors at gmail.com. Amen. All right. Um, before I close, um, Sister Cynthia, honey, if you're still on, will you guys agree with me? Let's lift up Jean in prayer. She's been having a lot of pain um, in her back. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Hallelujah. Father, we just lift Jean up to you, God. You know what's going on in her body. We also know that Jesus died on the cross. He took those stripes. He bore those stripes upon his back so that we could have victory, so that we could live in divine health. And we know, Father, there are natural things that happen as our bodies get older. But we also know that no matter what the doctors say, we choose to believe your report. Your report says we are healed and made whole by the blood that Jesus shed on that cross. So right now, as we lift Jean up to you, we pray, Father, that from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, she would be healed and made whole. Father, we command every fiber, every tissue, every organ, every muscle, of her being, every bone to line up in the name of Jesus. And we speak to that body and say, body, be healed, be made whole. Father, we declare that there will be no more pain in Jean's body this very day. It will cease and desist. Your word says, Father, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. So any weapon that the enemy has thwarted towards Jean, we declare the word says it will not prosper so we command it to cease and desist by the blood of Jesus and by his name which is a name above all names so we speak to that body and we call you whole we call you to live and stand upright with no pain in the mighty name of Jesus amen and amen and amen Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Cynthia, for praying and agreeing with us. Um, Jean, I will continue to lift you in prayer. I'm sure Sister Cynthia will as well. Um, and keep me posted on how you're doing. We're expecting signs, wonders, and miracles. And we are declaring to the heavenlies that you are healed and made whole and pain-free. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everybody, for jumping on. I do pray for you guys daily. I love you all. Um, we will continue to pray for your 